You woke up yawning and adored the mesmerizing view beside you, who was sleeping soundly, looking heavenly beautiful. You pulled your right hand from his stomach and kissed his cheek. Jungkook opened his eyes, getting disturbed by your fingers' movement on his face. You got shocked on seeing him waking up. What were you trying to do, babe? Your cheeks got red just by hearing his deep voice. No, I was doing nothing. You unknowingly stuttered. Then why are you stuttering, honey? You start blinking out of nervousness. No, it's nothing. Then look in my eyes. He pulls your face closer to his and looks in your eyes. The deep conversation between the eyes starts. It involves a silent conversation of love, longing for each other's warmth. Every emotion, every feeling is reflected in their eyes. You suddenly get yourself out of Jungkook's hole and got down from the bed. Switch off your romantic mode and get fast. You are getting late. Your patience must be waiting for you. They must be waiting, but their doctor is suffering from the lack of his wife's love, so he also needs some rest. Their doctor is just too over dramatic. Honey, you are such a mood ruiner, he said while whining, and you went away smiling at his dramatic act. You were arranging the breakfast on the table and Jungkook was coming down, wing ready, looking perfect from every angle. You were admiring him when he winked at you. You blushed and he chuckled. Cook, breakfast is ready. Let's dig in. Yes, yo. Now it's time for Jungkook to go. He looked at you and cupped your cheeks, then packed your forehead. Honey, I might get a bit late, so don't wait for me and have your dinner on time, okay? Okay, sure. Jungkook then suddenly packed your lips and ran off outside while you were standing there, dumbfounded. What the hell was that? You mumbled while touching your lips while blushing. Today, you were getting bored at home alone, so you decided to cook a new dish. So you were getting the ingredients ready for it. After finishing cooking, you decided to let Jungkook try it first, so you packed it and went to get ready. After driving for the few minutes, you saw that there was a heavy traffic, so you decided to take another way. You were internally getting excited on thinking about the reaction of Jungkook when he will see you. You took a right turn just then you saw a truck was coming with full speed and unfortunately the distance between your car and the truck was just a few inches. You didn't get a chance to think for a way and in the next second your car got hit by a truck and crashed completely. Your heart raced as you tried to make sense of what just happened. You could feel pain shooting through your body as you struggled to move and then you fainted. The crowd gathered and ambulance was called immediately. Sir, there is an emergency. An accident took place on the road of Kwanju and the lady is badly bruised. The blood is dripping non-stoppably. What? Inform nurse Luna to get everything ready and take the patient into the emergency room immediately. After giving instructions, Jungkook went to get himself ready for another task as he just finished a surgery. The patient was shifted into the emergency room and everything was ready in the room when Jungkook came inside. The moment his gaze fell on the patient, he fell like the ground slipped beneath his feet and he nearly got a mini heart attack. For a few seconds, he couldn't process what he just saw. He unknowingly took few steps back. 
then gathered himself and walked towards you. And when he got a clear view of your face, his heart drops and he broke down completely. His legs gave up and he fell down on his knees. The nurse and the assistant got shocked on seeing this. They immediately went to him and made him stand up. So what happened? You are crying? Are you okay? Janko could not breathe properly. Tears were flowing continuously from his eyes. I can't, Alex. I can't do this. What are you even saying, sir? We have no time. We need to do her treatment immediately, else it will be difficult to save her. And if not you, then who is going to treat her? You can't act like this, sir. You are a doctor. You are the one who saves, not the one who let people die. Alex, she is my wife. I can't even see her in this condition. My hands are shaking already. How I am going to treat her? I'm sorry, sir, but then who is going to treat her? Because Dr. Huang is busy in operation and Dr. Kim is absent today. You have to be strong, sir. You have to save her. Jungkook took a deep breath and gathered enough courage, then decided to treat you. I'll not let anything happen to you, Van. If I can save others, then I can save my wife too. And if not, then I should be ashamed of being a doctor. He then started treating all your wounds, took the piece of glass out of your skin. After completing the treatment, he went outside to take some breath. After getting relaxed a bit, he again came inside and sat beside you and took your hand in his. He packed the back of your hand while you were still unconscious. Princess, how did all this happen? Open your eyes and look at me. Your cook can't bear to see you in this condition. He cried while holding your hand and tears dropped on your hand. I never thought that this day will come. My soul nearly came out of my body when I saw you in that condition. My body felt numbed but I still gathered and treated, gathered courage and treated you and now you should also act strong and get up. Please, for your cook, I am dying to hear your voice. He sat there talking non-stop with your unconscious figure and then he suddenly felt your fingers moving. He immediately got up and saw your eyes flickering and now he was beyond happy. You are listening to me, Van. Open your eyes and look at me. He became restless. Jung, you tried to speak but he cuts you off in between. It's okay, Van. Don't speak for now. I'm glad enough to see you, conscious. He smiled and packed your forehead. You smiled and a drop of tear escaped from your eyes, which Jungkook wiped immediately. I'm not gonna ask anything until you get fully recovered. Once you get recovered, I'm not gonna leave you alone. You're gonna come with me in hospital or I'll quit being a doctor. You smile seeing his concern for you and thank God for making you his wife. It's okay, cook. Don't be so tensed. I'm fine. Look. Yeah, yeah, I can see how fine you are. Only I know how much I struggle to make you look this fine. You smile. Are not you my doctor hubby for that? You are smiling after taking my breath away just some time ago. Don't be sad, Cook. Now forget whatever happened and take me home. Wait, what? What did you say just now? I said take me home, Cook. You whined then giggled. Listen, Mrs. John Byan, you are not going to get up from this bed for the next two days. Until I get satisfied that you are completely recovered. What? Cook, don't do this to me. I don't like this place. I want to go home. Sorry miss, this is not your cook. But a doctor is, is speaking. You realize that now you cannot win from him. Bastard. You rolled your eyes.
आई कैन हेयर योर मिस ही रेज हिज वन आईब्रो यू फेक स्माइल्ड 